Good morning. This is uh, Tuesday's 5 for 5, bringing you uh, the word from Proverbs chapter 16, verse that came to mind just a few days ago when someone reminded me that uh, though sometimes we have our own plans and our own thoughts, that sometimes the Lord's plan is, is going to be different and um, his plan is always going to be best. And Proverbs 16, 9 says, the heart of man uh, plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Uh, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. You know, over the last few months, we've had lots of plans that have been derailed. Uh, my family and I, we were planning to go to New York City back in March. Um, and about the time they shut down Broadway was about the time we said, you know, maybe we need to get our money back and we don't need to go to New York City. We went to North Carolina mountains instead, and I'm glad we did. Um, it was right where God needed us to be and right where God was going to plan for us to be all along. We had our plans laid out since May a year ago. And, and God had a different plan for us. A great great time with family, a great time up in North Carolina seeing our extended family. And, and God had a different plan through all of it. He wanted to protect us. He wanted to keep us safe. You know, we were disappointed in that change of plans, but, but God wasn't surprised by that change of plans. A few years back, Pastor Brooks did a sermon series called Change of Plans. You can find it on our website. I encourage you to go back and listen to it and see how so often with changes of plans that, that we don't foresee or want, that, um, that God's in it and he's working through it. And I think we're seeing that over and over again. You know, our student ministry and our kids ministry, we've, we've seen major changes in our plan for this summer. Uh, the summer's not like it normally would be. Uh, and, but we're also refocusing and, and re-energizing with some new ways that we're going to hopefully be doing some things in the future too as we, we hope to try to get some kind of a summer in it. And through it all, though it's difficult for us, when we see those changes to the plans that we've been praying for and our hearts have been wishing for and wanting for so much, we see that God has a greater plan through it and that he is still working in it. Proverbs 16.1 says, The plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Have you ever had that moment where you, you realize that what you said is not what you had thought you were going to say before you said it? Um, that you had planned and thought through your head exactly how that conversation was going to go, but then how it comes out, it's not quite what you what you meant to say, or maybe you said more than you wanted to say. And, you know, once it's out there, as you read in Proverbs 16, the words that we say are so important and they can go so far. If you read down at the end of Proverbs 16, it talks about how words can be useful for so many great things, but they can also be so, so strong and so powerful in so many negative ways. Recently, Pastor Brooks was preaching through um, James, and he was talking about how the tongue is, it's like a rudder. It's like a, a bit in the bridle of a horse, or it's, it's, it's like a small spark that can set a forest on fire. And it's such a small thing with so much powerful potential. And, you know, truly, the, the answer of the tongue is from the Lord, because once it's laid out there, once it's said, that's the direction that our course is going in. And we truly can change the course of our life with just the words that we say. And even if our own heart had a different plan in mind, the Lord can work through that in many ways, the things that we say to change the course of the direction we're going. Another verse here in, in Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16, 3, it says, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. You know, ultimately, I can mess up a lot of the plans that I want to have. I can, I can say things the wrong way. I can get ahead of myself. Or I can have heart, heart dreams and plans that I truly want to see come to fruition. But if they aren't from the Lord or I'm not following after His guidance, then I shouldn't be expecting that my plans are going to come to anything. Ultimately, when it comes down to knowing that my plans are going to be lasting, that they're going to go on past this life or this season or this time, I need to commit my plans to the Lord. That means I come to Him. I can commit my work to the Lord. And, and the plans are established not because of the work that I've done, but because I sought Him, I looked towards Him, and I let Him lead me and show me His plan through all of it. If I commit my work to the Lord and it's truly His work that I follow after, then the plans are going to be established. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. You know, we have a lot of thoughts, a lot of dreams, and a lot of plans, a lot of things we want to see come to about. A lot of ways we want things to get back to normal and just move forward and plans that we try to put into place. And we have to be flexible as those plans change. But I'm so grateful that the purpose of the Lord will stand forever, that we can always rely on that no matter how much our plans change. Think about that as you go through your day. Cool thing is, I think God had a plan. This is Proverbs 16. So if you're on your Proverb a Day reading plan for the month, you can jump into that here on June 16th. And um, just work through the rest of Proverbs 16. Take some time to meditate through that and um, enjoy looking at how God's plans are there for you, and they're there to be able to lead you and guide you.
through the through the dreams that you're praying through and the plans that you're trying to make. Make sure they're his plans and rest in him in that. Have a great day.